All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Nick, also known as Petro Ninja, and this is Ninja Gaming Weekly, my attempt at a weekly vlog to keep you guys updated with the channel. Haven't been doing it that well this year, but I still like to talk to you guys face to face once in a while. Um, you get to see my ugly mug. Uh, but anyway, so I do this to keep you guys updated with the channel, what's going on, and the biggest news I probably want to touch first on is what happened with the Metal Gear Rising videos. Uh, so. Uh, the videos, like, as you can probably already know, were down the entire day yesterday. Uh, late Tuesday night, they were actually given copyright strikes from Konami, the publishers of the game. Uh, and this was absolutely confusing to everyone because I was actually in contact with Konami uh, before the actual release of the game. They were the ones that actually sent me the game early. So I was scratching my head at that point. So uh, Wednesday morning, I got in contact with the person I knew at Konami, the person who sent me the game, and he didn't know what was going on either. So he talked to their legal department, and he basically got back to me and said there was a miscommunication between uh, the Konami offices in the United States, which is on the West Coast in California, and uh, the parent company, which is on the East Coast, as east as you can go, far, far east, in their parent company in Japan, uh, Konami Japan. So what had happened was the Japanese version of the game wasn't slated to be released until today, which is Thursday, two days after the North American release date. And they started flagging videos, for some reason, of North American videos on YouTube and taking them down, uh, saying that they had breached the embargo date, which they obviously hadn't yet. Uh, so, um, mine... I think I'm, I'm pretty sure my channel was the largest one that got its videos taken down. All the other channels that you probably know which are larger, such as Ghost Robo, The Rad Brad, or I would say uh, The Media Cows, their videos didn't get taken down at all. Um, so, But anyways, uh, the videos are back up now. The copyright strikes were removed. Um, I got an apology, <laughs> which is always nice. Um, always apologize if you, if you ever do something wrong. It's just a nice thing to do. Um, so the video and the series is back on now. I will be uploading a lot of it tomorrow. Um, but I would, if you guys haven't already checked the video, uh, check out the video, or if you have, uh, go uh, click this annotation and please leave a like and a favorite uh, on it if you haven't done so already. Um, even if you don't plan on watching, I, the only reason I ask this is because um, a lot of you guys don't understand like the dynamics of YouTube and walkthroughs, but uh, the first couple days of a walkthrough are the most important ones uh, after release date, because that's when everyone's going to decide which person or channel they're going to watch long term, and even if my videos were down for just one day, it's it's a, it's a really, it's a catch-up process the entire time, which, I'm, which the series may never really recover from to reach what it normally would have made in its full potential. Uh, but yeah, if you guys could please uh, click the annotation, check out part one, uh, leave a like and a favorite. You know, I would really, really appreciate to get that series back on track. And uh, other things going on, obviously uh, Crisis 3 as well was the big release this week. I'm playing it on PC. Uh, if you guys have a capable PC and you're not playing Crisis 3 on it, uh, then you're, re you're really doing yourself a, a disservice. Uh, if you don't have a PC, a gaming PC, then I guess you really don't have the option. But if you get a chance, check do check it out on PC. Um, even if you watch my YouTube videos, you don't really get the full grasp of how technically sound that game is just because uh, YouTube has a lot of video compression. So what you're seeing is not even, uh, I wouldn't say, entirely accurate of what I see when I actually play the game. It looks a lot better when I'm actually playing it than uh, YouTube is posting it. And the Assassin's Creed DLC, uh, that's going on as well, The Tyranny of King Washington, The Infamy, Episode 1. Um, so, quick thing on that series. For some reason, I ran into an issue where every time I hit a black screen in, my, in the DLC, it would desync the game audio from the video. I had no idea why. My, suspect, my suspicion was that the hard drive I was writing to got really, really full. Uh, so, um, it just threw things off for a bit. Uh, I cleared out one of my old hard drives with, vid with videos that are no longer on it, so we'll be writing to an empty hard drive now. So, uh, I actually had, to, every single time there was a black screen, I had to afterwards manually resync it myself, which was kind of annoying. But, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So, yeah. Um, so that's all the new stuff that's going on this week. Uh, I finished Alien Cl Aliens Colonial Marines, um, so that is done, 
And in terms of all the series that will be finished eventually, uh, obviously I, guys, I promised you guys that Resident Evil 6, the Ada Wong campaign, will be done. I still do plan on finishing it at some point. Uh, I kind of want to see how it ends. Uh, so that will be back eventually. Uh, I'm going to keep, every time I talk to you, I'm going to remind you that I will get done eventually until I actually do it. And Metal Gear Solid 4 uh, got pushed back just because of all the new stuff that gets released. Uh, that's just what happens with the gaming channel, um, especially with the older game uh, like Metal Gear Solid 4. You guys, a lot of you guys have probably already played it, and there's already many, many walkthroughs of it online. So for the for the good, uh, the benefit of the channel, I kind of have to push older series back, especially of really older games, uh, just so I can focus on newer ones. It helps the channel be more successful. I know that sounds kind of a bit selfish. But that's just how it goes on YouTube, so I'm going to be honest with you guys on that front. And other than that, that's pretty much it for me and Ninja Gaming Weekly. Um, oh, one more thing that I want to talk about really quickly. Um, I actually created a YouTube extension for uh, Google Chrome and Firefox. It's an in-browser extension or app. Uh, you guys probably, a lot of you know that the YouTube sub box system is sometimes... Um, Needless to say, it isn't perfect, and you guys will miss videos sometimes uh, from me. So if you guys are a really, really dedicated fan of the channel and you want to download the extension for the channel or the app for the channel that is in browser, that will be in the link in the description as well down there. Not down there, sickos. Uh, check it out. Uh, if you don't, you download it. Check it out. If you don't like it. Uh, then you can just un uninstall it really, really quickly. It just creates a little small pop-up every single time I upload a video. So if you guys are really following a series very closely, then you don't have to rely on YouTube's sub-box system. And other than that, that'll be it for me. Like I said, uh, thank you guys so much, as always, for the support for the channel. Once again, uh, if you want to help get the Metal Gear Rising series back on track, please check out Part 1 in the annotation and leave a quick like and favorite it would it really would mean a lot to me and next week there's really nothing new coming out so it's just finishing series um crisis 3 and metal gear rising isn't from what i hear isn't very long so we're gonna go strong on that for uh the next bit so yeah that's it for me talk to you guys soon and have a fantastic day as always